for my second piece of music, I'm going to pick something much more contemporary than the Firebird Suite. I'm going to choose uh, the band Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum, which I'm a big fan of. Sadly, the band has broken up. That happens with bands. Fans of the band like I am hope that maybe they'll get back together sometime. But anyway, there's a wealth of work. And if I have to pick one piece, really it could be almost any of those their pieces. I'll pick the piece called Sleep is Wrong, which I recommend you listening to. To me, when I first heard it, it seemed very radical, and I'm a guy who's played in King Crimson with somewhat radical prog rock sensibility. A Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum does things that we never dreamed of doing in Crimson or in any band I've been in. However, we're older guys and we learn by a different book. Things like the band um, suddenly changing tempo, not in a way that anybody's cueing. They just seem to have written it all themselves and they don't mind. Uh, suddenly being in a different tempo and they do it in an organic way that really uh, turned me on, got me excited because uh, I realized that we, I and my contemporaries mostly live on the grid. It's a certain tempo and we stay that tempo. If it's going to be a different tempo, we need someone to count it off. wanted to be influenced by their music. I didn't want to copy it. By the way, it's very, very powerful and very tribal and organic, both. Now, King Crimson and Stickman is never going to be tribal. We don't have six guys to sit around and sit on the floor and do tribal things. But I love the power of it and I tried to... Actually, at the beginning of Stickman, I said to the guys, "Let's. we're going to do this piece, Sleep is Wrong. It'll be terrible. It'll be an insult, in a way, to the band that did it. But I wanted to, uh, I wanted to infect us musically. I wanted to seep in the, the sensibility of it. And the best way to do that is to do it, and even to do it in front of people, maybe not every night, uh, and hope that they don't know the original. And we did that, and I do feel like it had an effect, not as much as I had hoped, but some. And I hope that if the band ever hears, the real band ever hears my version, they'll forgive me. I say to infect or to influence me, I don't mean at all that I want to copy the band or sound like them, and I couldn't anyway, but, but when musicians like me, when you get excited about something, you, you kind of want it to rub off on you a little bit without copying it. And so um, I'm a big fan of Sleepy Time Gorilla Museum and all the players in it, and uh, I've listened to it really a lot, again, to try to have it influence me. So that's my second choice.